Infamous with Madden 12 Ultimate Team update number 15. And I've had quite a lot of success on the AH and trade block this past weekend. But before I get into all that, I'll go ahead and show you guys all the new content that was released up until today. A couple weekends ago, they released Super Bowl MVP Eli Manning, Hakeem Nix, Mario Manningham, and Justin Tuck, all which start out with 46 contracts. Then yesterday, they released Coach Tom Coughlin with a plus one ball carry vision, along with a Super Bowl collection for all of them to go into. I've already seen the reward cards for the collection, and basically you receive all the cards back, each with a plus two boost. Coughlin with a plus two to awareness, Manningham with plus two to catch and traffic, Nix was plus two to route running, Tuck with plus two to play recognition, and Manning with plus two to pass block strength. Apart from the million coin reward, I really have no desire to finish this collection, as the rewards are really not all that impressive to me, and I can't really see starting them over who I already have. But for all you Giants fans out there, this would be the collection for you. As predicted, they also released the NFC Pro Bowl collection, along with the final card that goes into that collection, Pro Bowl Earl Thomas. I found Thomas for Max on the AH and finished the collection. The reward is 99 overall Pro Bowl Justin Smith, which is better than the Game Changers Justin Smith. So I'm sure all those that turned in the Brady and Gronkowski were not too happy to see that reward. I also finished the AFC Pro Bowl collection to get the reward Revis, only having to give up Ghost Dawkins on the trade block. The playoff packs were removed and replaced with the new offseason pack, and the first thing I noticed was the price. Instead of the usual $6.99, I was shocked to see them drop the price of this pack down to $2.99, which is really what all the packs should have been from the beginning. With the release of this new pack, they also released six new Associated Press Award winner cards, along with a collection. 2011 MVP Aaron Rodgers, Offensive Rookie of the Year Cam Newton, Defensive Rookie of the Year Von Miller, Offensive Player of the Year Drew Brees, Defensive Player of the Year Terrell Suggs, and finally Coach of the Year Jim Harbaugh. So just to clarify, you can only pull Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, and the new AP cards from offseason and gold premium packs. All the playoff cards have been removed. Now this was not an easy collection to complete, but as I will show you, it can be done relatively cheap with a little luck. So first with the pack prices at $2.99, I decided to buy four off-season packs. The first one was garbage, however I believe I did sell Ponzi and Ratliff both for minimum. The second pack wasn't too bad, I was at least able to pull my first Super Bowl card, Mario Manningham, but he happened to be one of the more common ones along with the coach Harbaugh. The third one, again garbage, but still sold Staley and Evans for minimum. And finally, the fourth and last pack, up came Rookie of the Year Cam Newton, who happened to be the hot card the entire weekend. Now keep in mind, I bought these packs right after they were just released, so at the time, no one really knew who the rare card was going to be, because usually there was always one tough card from each collection. That turned out not to be the case with this new AP collection, as all three QBs, including Suggs, never really hit the auction block. I checked the trade block and only noticed two Cam Newtons other than mine, so I decided to throw mine on the trade block just to see what people were offering. I first was offered Club 100 Adrian Peterson and turned him down. I was then offered Club 100 Fitzgerald. Not really a fan of him, but knew his value had dropped with the release of the playoff version, so I decided to turn that offer down as well. The very next offer was Club 100 Deshaun Jackson and I really had no choice but to go ahead and take that offer. Deshaun of all the Club 100s is valued the highest, so I couldn't really go wrong and still even today, six days after Newton was released, don't regret accepting that offer. I've heard of people that were offered more, but I knew the longer I waited, with my luck Cam Newton would have been all over the AH. Probably the only other cards I would have taken would have been Playoff Rice and Playoff Reggie White. But I was never offered either one in the time that I had him on the trade block, so it is what it is. Number 92, Club 100, Deshaun Jackson, now added to the team. My buddy called me up Friday around midnight to tell me that a numbered Ghost Manning was sitting on the AH. And sure enough, once I checked, he was still there and I was able to buy him out for max. Looked as though he was sitting there for at least 30 minutes, so number 4 of 10, Peyton Manning, also added to the team. My luck didn't end there, I decided to try to get the AP collection done by the weekend. I bought Von Miller for minimum as he seemed to be the easiest of the 5 players to pull. I started looking for Suggs and within 5 minutes someone had thrown him up for max so now that left me with the 3 quarterbacks. 
Breeze among the easier of the QBs was the next card I bought off the AH and about an hour later I was surprised to see someone throw up in Aaron Rodgers. So now here it is Saturday night and all I have left to find or trade for is a Cam Newton. So Sunday came and the times that I looked for Newton on the auction block never seen one pop up. Even tried trading for him and still no luck. Monday was the exact same way. I really didn't see a huge increase or decrease in the amount of Newtons or Rodgers on the trade block. Tuesday I figured maybe if I could trade away something for another Aaron Rodgers I could possibly find someone to do a straight up trade for Cam Newton. I offered Ghost T.O. on a Rodgers and surprisingly it was accepted. I then threw both of my Aaron Rodgers on the trade block looking for Newton and after a couple hours received that offer. So after it was all said and done I was able to get the AP collection done without having to give up a whole lot plus picking up a couple numbered cards in the process. So all in all not a bad weekend. You receive all six cards back with boost, Aaron Rodgers with plus two to awareness, Cam Newton with plus two to release, Von Miller with plus two to pursuit, Drew Brees with plus two to catch, Terrell Suggs with plus two to block shed, and finally Jim Harbaugh, which is by far the best coach available, gives plus two to awareness, release, pursuit, catch, block shed, and morale. Speaking of boost, after I released last week's video, EA made a statement on their Madden Ultimate Team Twitter page a day later, stating that boosts stack and only work if the player is on the field. They also said that boosts work to bring a player up to 100 for a stat, and that boost affect the whole team. So I was correct in understanding how boosts work in that video. In other news, some of you may or may not know that Randy Moss has announced that he is coming out of retirement back to the NFL. So with this news, I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to do my first card giveaway. I was able to find a Ghost Randy Moss on the AH last weekend. However, I already have one myself, so I really have no use for him and would rather give him away to you guys. Unfortunately, this will only be for PS3 subscribers, so I apologize in advance to all you Xbox guys. As soon as I find something of equivalent value on Xbox, I will do the same for you guys. All you gotta do is post down in the comments something along the lines of hook me up with Moss. And what I'll do is probably wait until Saturday just to give everyone a chance to see this video. I'll type out all the names, throw them all in a hat, and post a video of me drawing the winner sometime Sunday or Monday. So none of that random number generator BS, I will do it exactly like I did for the Resistance 3 beta codes. Again, this is only for PS3, so if you're Xbox or not a subscriber, don't even waste your time. I'll see you guys all in my next update. This is Infamous. Peace.